Hello and thanks for joining me. Well, this CNC lathe has been quite a learning curve. I'm starting to get a little better at the software. Still learning it though. Uh, but the cutter profile, uh, to make it cut smooth and wood, has been kind of a challenge. Uh, let, me, let me show you what I've been trying. Okay, here's kind of an evolution of what I've been through. This is a carbide insert intended for woodworking. It's, uh, I don't remember how many millimeter that is, but it's fairly large and uh, it doesn't get into uh, small contours very good. So I wanted something smaller. So I made this right here. I used a uh, cutoff wheel, cut a groove in there, and then put a relief on the lower half. And that works really well, except I can't make a square shoulder. You know, or two square shoulders. Uh, so, I designed this here. And this uh, is a piece of tool steel that I drew in CAD, and I put it in a glass block. And then I turned it so I'm looking down on that. And I copied a profile right there. See that profile there? That's a relief. And that's looking down on it. And that's what I ended up with right there. And that's... I got a friend with a wire EDM, which is like an electric wire that cuts uh, tool steel or any kind of steel. Uh, and it's immersed in oil or an oil bath. And I built a jig and held it at an angle like that. And the bandsaw or wire EDM cut that profile. Then I ground ground away that steel there. So I ended up with a sharp edge. Well, I broke the cutter. There's the cutter I made. It worked pretty good, but not as well as I anticipated. And I only need to cut on the left side and on the lead edge, because it, it always cuts from from right to left. But this cutter worked about the best. It's just kind of crude. Plus it's got a tapered shank. So I made this. And I did that by setting the uh, tool steel uh, in my mill vise and then ran into it with a carbide burr. And I'm going to make this one again. That's a little bit rough in the contour. I think I can do better. And I'll cut back the sides a little further. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, just one word about woodworking versus metalworking. Relief angles. That's something typical. Something you would see typically in a uh, metalworking relief. Maybe even more blunt than that. Just a slight uh, relief angle on both surfaces. On woodworking, you want a sharp relief angle, especially on the on the top rake. Uh, but grinding a tool like that only cuts in the front. Grinding it like that cuts on the sides and the front. Anyway, that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, this is the burr we're going to use to create that recess in our part. I don't know what that profile is called. It's a quarter inch shank. I'm just going to put it in my mill and uh, use it to cut the recess in the tool. Not much of it in my chuck, but it works.
The last one I did, I raised the bit as I was cutting it. It's smoother and rounder, but I kind of prefer a teardrop shape. That might work. That might work good. I'm going to try grinding the sides of that. I've got a lot of grinding to do on the tip. I, I didn't want to get too close to my vice jaws with that burr. Okay, what I'm doing now is called touching off. And that's basically uh, calibrating the position of this cutter. And this is 1.77 inches in diameter. So when I'm touching the live center there, I'm at 1.77. Now I gotta set the other axis. I'm touching off this way is what I'm doing and I'm calling that zero. It's calibrated so the length of the piece you're turning starts here. So that's zero. Now I'm ready to run the program. I'm going to leave the vacuum cleaner off of this and make a mess just so we can see how it's cutting. like we're cutting fairly smooth because there's no whiskers sticking up around here. You can see where it's cutting on the left side of the cutter and the tip to some degree, mostly on the left side. Okay, here comes the fun part. One more final pass.
Those ribbons coming off of there are a good sign and it's cutting good. Oh yeah. That's about as good as you can be expected. That's minimal fuzz there. No tear out. I like it. Well, that about wraps it up, and thanks for joining me, and be sure and subscribe, and hit that bell, that way you'll get notifications of new videos.